Hunting at the bags, now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the whoop. 703 I fives, look alive, look alive. Hold it, got the dumb P, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face, wanna know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so hot, yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. Whenever we're best friends, nice to meet you, sis. So make sure that you join the fam. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, turn your push notifications on so you can never miss a video from me, okay? Also, follow me on social media, duh, because I post it outside of YouTube. So I know what you're here for. Here to see how I install these locks. So if you want to see exactly how I do it, all my tips and tricks, because I give y'all a lot, then keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, you guys, so jumping straight into this protective style, I'm super excited because I'm looking forward to wrapping my hair up in these locks, oiling my scalp every night, and making sure that my hair stays healthy in a protective style. So I started off by using my Shea Moisture Shampoo. It strengthens my hair, and I love it. It's my favorite. This is also my current fave conditioner, the Suave or Suave Avocado Olive Oil Conditioner. It's a bomb. I got this Con Air Blow Dryer from Target for like 20 some dollars, and make sure your blow dryer has a nozzle on it because it's healthier for your hair in terms of tools you're gonna need a parting comb you see that parting part girl your parts gonna be crisp af without you even trying make sure you have a brush to detangle some clips for sectioning and of course you're gonna need your crochet needle okay if you are using Nasio's products, they give you a crochet needle, so that's amazing. These are the locks that I'm using for today. I'm doing butterfly locks, as y'all saw in the intro. If you want the legit info and links, they will be in the description box below. But these are 24 inches. I love how they all come separately packaged, and y'all, they already have like the little butterfly detail on it, so... If you suck at that, you're good to go. The ends are nice and well and sealed. We love that. Like, they don't come undone. And these locks are way longer than 24 inches. Let's just let's just keep it a buck, okay? I'm also going to be using the Free Trust Braiding Hair. That's crochet in water wave texture in 1B. All of my hair is 1B. And I'm going to be using nail glue today for the first time to seal my ends. That's everything you need. Um, oh, yeah. And I also am going to be using some Shine and Jam later for my braids. But, yeah, let's get into parting. So, it's definitely easy to start off with half of your head. And I went ahead and got me a mirror because it helps me with my parting. Okay? So, yeah, I am using the two mirror method. And we're going to get right into this, y'all. Do y'all think I got a ball spot in the back of my head? Like, it's looking a little mm, back there. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to use my mirrors and my right side cone to give me a part. And then I'm going to section this into three small pieces. I'm using my shiny gem, like I said earlier. And then I'm just going to put regular individual little braids, little plaits in my hair key step to doing this process do not do your braids super duper tight at the top and you don't have to worry about braiding them all the way down at the ends i like to leave the ends out because it just saves me time so yeah let's speed up this process she see money all around me i look like i'm the man yeah. but i was down and down like last week tell me where have you been now that I have all my individuals, I'm going to open the top of the lock by putting my finger in. And I'm simply just going to crochet it through my hair. You want to make sure that your needle is open. And then once you attach the hair to the needle, you're going to close the latch. So put the needle through, close the latch on the hair, and then pull it through, and you should be good to go. I would suggest now taking your individual braid through that hole and pulling it tight. As you can see right now, I'm pulling the lock, and that was a little uncomfortable at the root of my head. Because the lock is kind of thick, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, after you attach it, you're going to want to do the same exact thing to the water wave hair. But make sure you like separate the curls first a little bit. It's going to help during the wraparound process. And then you're just going to pull that through the same exact way. You want to make sure that one 
side is shorter than the other, okay? So I like to measure it out to the same length of my regular hair and then I just go around and wrap it around the lock. If you're confused about how you're supposed to wrap the hair around the butterfly parts of the lock, you know the ones where the little piece is sticking out, it's easy. You just simply literally wrap it around. See how I'm doing it right now? I just went underneath it. And yeah, we're good to go. When I get to the end, I'm going to put some nail glue only on the hair that I wrapped it around. And I'm going to palm roll it. I promise you I never experienced any of the hair unraveling. I love the nail glue method. It's just kind of messy. And I'm going to talk about that later. But yeah, that's it. I kill, never be killed, that's real, no I You can tell it from my peers right now Bitch, you wanna fuck me down Bitch, you wanna love me down Girl, you can't tie me down like Ray J said But no, I'm down Freaking nigga told me stop Take it like it on me, stop Bitch, I'm gonna push it like a button Keep going, stop it, run that boss Still getting ready in a bunch Bitches on my chain, like it's up Everywhere I go now, I'm always got shit Bitch, I'm gonna jump, 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 jump Okay, you guys, so after a long night and a long morning, they are finally done. Wait, can we get into my skin and my teeth right now? Like, <laughs> I just feel like that girl. Okay, but back to the locks. They're super, super tight. Like, when I tell you, this is the worst my head has ever felt after a hairstyle. Honestly, truly. Like, they hurt so bad. I forgot to tell you guys that you should not do your plaits super tight. Because the more you lock the hair and wrap it around, the tighter it gets. So all of my plaits were tight to start off because I wanted my parts to be nice and crisp. And I want this style to last long, but the pain is not worth it. Um, also, don't make too many plaits because I have so many locks. Like, it's super full though, so I'm not mad about it i think it'll look so cute i'm just gonna show you guys the results when my hair like loosens up a bit because right now they are just so tight like i'm ready to like flip them over and style them in a different way and whoa this hurt no 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 yeah that hurts too much for me to do that so i'm probably going to show you guys my edges leaked out i don't add jewelry i like plain simple hairstyles but i'll come back after a couple of days and i'll tell you guys how long it took for them to like just loosen up but i love them um i'm not sure how long the style took me to do and i'm not sure how many locks i have please don't ask me that question i never count my braids or my locks i'm sorry just just do what you see fit um but I will say that this process would have went quicker if I like comb both the middle of my hair and like crochet them into the braids instead of doing like individual braids similarly to um my first collaboration with Nasio. I think that's how you pronounce it um it would have went easier but I think this style would last longer so yeah I feel real cute when I let out it was worth it it was worth all the effort my arms hurt and my head really hurts but I'm gonna pop some at bills and I'll check in with you guys in like a day or two when they're loosened up a little bit okay welcome back you guys so it is a couple of days later when I say a couple it's like it's been like four five days later and my hair is still tight it's still intact it's so cute i went ahead and did my edges off camera i'm sorry y'all have seen me do my edges a thousand and time y'all have seen me do my edges a thousand and one times but if you do want to know what product i use i use the style factor edge booster this is my favorite 
product to do my my like real baby hair um get the small bottles though because like the big bottle of edge booster in the same scent same color doesn't have the same texture this is like more thick and it's sticky and i love it okay like i'm in love i'm obsessed this is a brand new one that i have yet to open but yeah you guys i finished the hair and she's hecka cute we love her y'all see how like it's still very tight you guys but that's my fault just don't do your braids as tight as i did and you should be fine thank you so much nacio i hope that's how you pronounce it for sponsoring today's video i absolutely love their hair and i already have a plan for these okay when i take these out i'm going to reuse them because they don't get damaged at all so yeah with that being said i want to give you guys some tips and tricks i want to talk to you guys a little bit about how you can take things out because it's super duper easy i also want to show you guys how i kind of minimize some of the locks because as you can tell it's not as voluminous as it was it was kind of like too bulky it was too many of them at first so i I, t I sized down a bit when it came to the locks but yeah first i'm gonna tell you guys how to take them out because it's super easy to do so all you're going to do is run your hand down the lock and you're going to look for a hard part on the lock. Like this one, it's really hard right here. That's where I put the glue. You're just going to snip, snip, ho, <laughs> snip this little part off and the water wave hair that we use to wrap around is going to start unraveling. You just unravel that and you pull that hair out and then you undo the tie that you did at the root of your hair. And the lock slips out and you still have your plaque to take out. The hardest part of taking, the hardest part of the takedown process is taking all your plaques out. Period. Other than that, it's super easy to do. Also, make sure, here's another tip when you're putting them in your head, that when you wrap the hair around, only put your nail glue on the hair that you wrap around. Do not put the nail glue on the actual lock because the nail glue makes the hair super hard and crusty. And if you want to be re reuseful, Reuse, reuse, reduce, and recycle. If you want to get your money's worth, like me, save your locks. So don't put the glue on your actual locks. Put it on the water wave hair that you wrap around. Um, And then even if you want to reuse the water wave hair, because that's exactly what I did, all you got to do is cut the hard part off and you're good to go. Um, So basically what I did, basically what I did to like downsize on the, how many locks I had, I took two of the locks out and then i attached the plaques together so basically if i had two of these locks i would make this into one because i would take both of the locks out unravel it i would snip it unravel it pull it out untie it and i would just crochet the hair through two of the braids and i did that in the middle of the head because it was it was just a lot of them and it was heavy girl my neck my back my arms were just aching so i realized i had way too many locks how many locks i have i do not know i'm sorry i do not know so sorry but um yeah i had too many at first but now i have the perfect amount they're still very full please just forgot anything y'all see i was just now getting ready um they're still really full they're still lightweight it was just too many of them but i love this style and I love how I can save my locks and I can do this again. And it's a lovely protective style. Um, You don't got to worry about doing your hair. I love that. And they're really, really pretty. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you comment down below. Tell me what you want me to film for my next video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, mamas. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it.